so guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm going to show you a quick overview of a hotel booking website or web application which if you want such an um website you can get it from the links below so from here let me show you where it is so let's say localhost i've named it hotel five so once you click it, this is the website the way it is. So as you can see, this is the beautiful outlook. We have the rooms, blogs, and everything. So these are some of the things which can be edited later, just in case you want. Then of course, here we have the hotels, how it, how it looks from different angles and the features of rooms, as you can see. Here you can play the video if you have a video of your hotel then these are both the food which many items can be added as well so you can look at the pagination so the the most beautiful feature about this website is the fact that you can book from here so there are sliders which are automatic so it just depends whether you want to click or just wait for them to slide then here you can book a room so once you click book a room from the right side from the top right you can book the days that you want to be in a certain room then say for example we want maybe to be from may 2nd maybe to may maybe 6th of april so you can click select availability first or you can click check availability and then it just shows you the rooms that are available to be booked as you can see we have double we have triple we have all these kind of rooms so you can click book now and once you click book now it's going to take you to this place where you it gives you the features of the room and everything that you have to know it is a single house and it costs one thousand per night so the total cost for the four night is four thousand dollars just an example then the room condition is just a nice one but you can add beautiful room information then it gives you a maximum of one person bed is one and the size is just is just a random figure then from here you can enter your name this is where you can enter this let's just try with something like michael jacob as a first name let's second name let's just put here then for the email just just use hey example.com just an example for the number we can just use generic ones then for the test for the card number let's use the test cards which stripe gives us test card stripe let's click that then this is going to give us test cards which you can see that the website is working so let's just grab any card from here then put details from here then here the card details which you get at the back so the month expiry date let's say just random example that is going to expire on 20 on 36 or you can put anything in the future then the cvc the number at the back let's just put any number then after that now you can click pay with stripe so once you create, click pay with stripe as you can see from the top left it has told us that we've paid so to see whether we've paid we can go back to the stripe dashboard let's see stripe dashboard all right then the test payments we see whether we've received the payment as the owners of the place just an example because this, now this is the place where the owner gets to see whether the payments have been done and as you can see we have this amount here right so after you see this this is the same amount we're going to see in the admin panel all right where the customer service is so this is four thousand we have four thousand four thousand and two thousand okay so we can come here and now go to the admin side of the web application if you click that is going to show us that a2 has been booked it's a single house if you can remember 
we can check the information about the, the book the person was booked and we see it's Michael J Jacob and the contact number then we have the email the national education. these are just generic information then the remaining amount is zero because he has paid everything okay so from here when you come here you can't book it because it's booked so then the next one is just to check in when it comes to the house the premise the total price is four thousand it's paid four thousand so so you the advance payment he has paid everything at advance so once you click check in you can't check in another person again so the next is just to you can always be checking whether it's the same person in the house in the house the next thing is just to click check out and as you can see we've given a to the single from may 2 to may 6 if you can remember the total amount was four thousand and now the remaining amount is zero so you just put the remaining amount which is zero then you click check out as you can see now a2 is free to be booked after checking out the person you can always book the same room again like if you click like book a room it's going to give you this place where you can enter the details about the room all these rooms all these details have already been assigned because you already clicked room two which is thing one then for the check-in details just check maybe from may 8 to next just random example to may 10th as you can see it gives you a random figure of three thousand total shillings which someone should pay then say uh, someone you can enter any details which you are yours or the customer sorry then after that say for example i also and add random figures from here then residential just write anything and then you can click select id which is national id sorry then after that you can click submit so once you click submit it tells you that customer john m this and this has clicked that has booked that room so as you can see that's the room which has been booked so if you go to the manage rooms you see that that room has been managed so that's how you can do it there are several other ways other places as you can see we have staff selection whereby you can add uh, your staffs you can click add employee from here and then gives you an interface where you can add all your employees all right then on this side still we have manage complaints where you can manage the complaints by different people in the hotel so you can see from here complainant name complainant type then the desc the description of the complaints then they will be appearing here so you can see from the here there's a pagination then we have the statistics which gives the statistics about the hotel and guys that's practically much of it from the top, top left you'll be seeing the person who's logged in and from here you can click log out so that will clear the session so that marks the end of that and i'm hoping to see you until next time peace and love